okay. Reasons why. Uh, fun times. Okay. At night time, it's always better to find parking spots. <sighs> so, how you doing? First time, it's night time. This is supposed to be something of a vlog. And currently, we're leaving Mason and home. And yeah. Play some music, of course, off the radio, right? Make it more enjoyable. Yeah. Um, just in case of copyright, because, you know, never know. Yeah. So this is my regular way back, for the most part. Sometimes I'm not going this exact way when I'm leaving. Oh, Minnesota. Very nice. Okay. Sometime. There we go. Yeah, oh boy. I really hope this jarring does not uh, make you fall off. And by you, I mean the phone, not the actual camera. And where are you going? You're going this way. Mostly going this way. I got bird poop on the frickin' windshield. <sighs> so, since I don't know if this is really what constitutes vlog, because that's, you know, a thing now. Uh, hi. <laughs> a little late for that, of course, but, you know, what are you doing? Send that on your phone. See, I don't sit with my phone and go texting crazy. I just set my phone and I message those who I need to message and I'm done. And where are you going, buddy? Clearly lots of people. Yeah, see, this is what Mason is well known for, is the number of commuter students and also the sheer frickin' number of people in the dorms because they can just go crazy. And... Yay! Oh, don't come running. Thank God. Yeah, so this is like a way you could, you know, be like how not to drive or how to drive in some cases. Um, yeah, not much to be said about that. It's basically like my commentary on other people's driving. That's what this is. It's really just that. At, at, granted, this is nighttime. It's a test drive right now. I'm just seeing how well it works. Um, this is something I got from Best Buy for like $19 or $20, whatever it was. Somewhere around there and you were doing... What are you going? Okay. Oh, not so nice people over there. Yeah, people at this university sometimes... Oh, well, I guess every university. I mean, it's just in people's genes and their blood. They just have to jaywalk. Although I kind of do it to myself, of course. Everyone does it at some point in their life. <clears throat> Until we're in spaceships, then you're not really jaywalking, you're just walking more than you usually would on this planet, because only here do we have roads. They ship in space, you don't have roads. I am rambling. But that's what you do in a vlog, you ramble. You go on tangents. You have fun with it. I can do more tour accents, in fact. That's an upside down stop sign. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, this is the result of growing my hair out over the last month and a half, maybe. I don't know. Not too not too sure. But yeah. This is like a 30 minute drive at night, thank god. Sometimes if I'm really lucky it's like 25. But that's really hard to do because of speed limits. Because in Germany, if you don't know this, in Germany, there's essentially no speed limit 
for the most part. It's like, I mean, I don't know about like local areas, like the idea of residential and rural, like what, what speed limits are there. I mean, rural, there's definitely no speed limits. They have drivers going at freaking 140 miles an hour. And I sound really nasally. Ugh. Yeah, this is my voice with allergies. It sounds better, I think, without allergies, except there's no such thing with me and no allergies. It's just less allergies. Yeah, you'll hear a lot of me going because there's that much uh, allergic reaction. Uh, if you are okay with getting more specific, it's mucus and phlegm. It's not, which is really just mucus. Yeah. There's a, there's a, a fact for the day. Uh, mucus is what many people call snot, but it's strictly called snot because it is a specific part of the body that develops mucus as a response to the immune system saying there's a attack, some kind of, some kind of, uh, Unknown foreign thing in the system that I get that the immune system detects and it says okay Well, we need to develop mucus to combat this thing I don't know anything about because I'm the immune system and I need to predict the body Which is very interesting because I'm also taking an environmental class not anatomy But environmental and uh, you can kind of connect the dots and see similarities in terms of human anatomy and what the environment does the, like everything being connected as a system Human body, every system is connected. You have excretory, you have the reproduction, the reproductive system, then you have the, you know, cardiovascular system, nervous system. You have a lot of systems as a human. You can actually begin to kind of believe that maybe the planet we live on is actually a living, breathing organism. And we are silly enough to do the things that we do that kind of kill it very slowly like um, burn the coal, uh, use up the oil, and um, where we take off the take up the oil from, we go and put lots and lots and lots of water. And I only learned that maybe two and a half, three years ago uh, in a conversation with my father. And he told me, yeah, so the oil companies have officially reported how many gallons of water they're pumping into the earth where oil used to be. That is not a good thing to do. And that's that's not an opinion. That's just simply a, an observation that many people either don't know or don't want to believe. And it's very sad. So there's that. Hey, look, I can breathe better. Oh, lovely.